these are my easy spin motors. They are identical with the exception that the left motor spins in a clockwise direction and the right motor spins in an anti-clockwise direction. As you can see, both motors are solar powered, both having 5 volt solar panels. The one on the left having one, the one on the right having four. Inside the plinths is a small circuit board that I've made. The left containing one diode on one 5 volt supercapacitor and the right containing four diodes and four 5 volt capacitors. The circuit is very simple. Solar power is generated, goes through the diode, through the capacitor and out to the motors. The capacitors are connected in parallel. The one on the right, each panel has its own capacitor and diode and they only converge in parallel at the very end when they go into the motor. So in essence both motors are 5 volts but the one on the right has four times the current than the one on the left. The solar panel generates enough current to charge the capacitor and run the motors. So, during the daytime, they're running via the solar panel and at night time, they're running via the supercapacitors. The diode in the circuit is purely there to prevent the solar panels discharging the uh, capacitors during the night. Here is a close-up of the left hand motor we can quite clearly see the reed switch and I, uh, I didn't want any wires coming outside the motor for this one so basically what happens is, is that the, uh, the connections go down through to the plinth and then connect to the printed circuit board that I uh, made. This motor's different because it was retrofitted with the solar panels. Originally, and it still does have, it sat on a small plinth with four AA batteries in it, rated at 2800 milliamp. Now, the idea is, is that, or the hope, is that the solar panels not only will charge the capacitors but will also charge the uh, AA batteries and this is the one that I'm really pinning my hopes on to being a really long lasting motor even powering through the winter periods when there isn't much light now some of you might be wondering why I didn't go the crystal cell route like laser saber well the answer is I'm lazy uh, there's no excuse for it other than fitting a solar panel is so much more easier than getting a bunch of chemicals and mixing them together and grinding them and then heating them up on some sort of a stove and then having to get some copper pipe and put it in and risk being burned and then finding out there wasn't enough power to do it in the first place because they didn't put enough windings on the bobbins or something. So. I took the easy man's route out and I decided it's a safe bet that the sun's going to be shining for the next 100 years so I may as well capitalise on that free uh, energy source and that's literally the reason why. Well I hope you enjoyed me waffling on about these two little motors that I've made. I'm very proud of these little motors. Whilst they're quite simple to make they're also very difficult to make, if that makes any sense to you. I mean, not only do you really need to 3D print the design, um, I found that if I hadn't had a 3D printer, I wouldn't have been able to make them. I certainly wouldn't have been able to make the one on the right. And I also had to reprint some of the parts because uh, I actually broke them whilst trying to solder the, the, uh, the bobbins there are the windings on the bobbins. Uh, that was the real heartache of the job. It's winding the bobbins wasn't too bad, but it was the actual soldering of the wires 
that I found it to be really, really difficult because the heat would melt the plastic. It was very difficult for me to get a nice clean job. I spent many, many hours building these. Far more hours than probably you would take. But I'm not very good at this. I'm just a, an average Joe blog guy that happened to see it on the internet. And I got a 3D printer and thought, yeah, I'll have a go at making that. Yeah, well, I did decide not to make any more after these two. Then Slaves of Sabre released this little cute thing that he sold on eBay. Powered by a crystal cell in a, in a, in a, in a doll dome. And I thought, well, that looks nice. So I've downloaded the plans for that. And I do intend to make that one as my final one. Uh, and then that'll take pride of place in the uh, on the shelf. So um, I'll look forward to posting that video as and when I do get around to making it. I will make it. It's just that I've got other things on at the moment, and I've not actually. I'm still traumatised from actually making these two motors to want to make another one just yet. So keep your eyes out. Thanks for watching.